Hello everyone, this is your favorite collector Sweet Wills and welcome back to a long awaited, I think it's been two or three weeks since I've done the Disney collecting news, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time, but I'm back. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. We finally got to see yesterday's series 6 of 12 from the Stitch Crashes Disney, which is themed Aladdin. And this plush look good. I'm not going to be front to y'all. This plush look good. This is something Sweet Wills is interested in. The pen usually don't have a problem in the United States getting a pen, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. But my goal every month is to get the pen for sure because that's one of the main things I plan on collecting. No information on the release date for the United States, but it does say in the UK they will be receiving the series on June 18th. So my folks out there in the UK, you might want to lock this date in. And my folks in the United States who have friends that's helping them in the UK, you all might want to remind them. Also lock this date in as well. Now I know when it comes to the previous series, Series 5, which was Pinocchio, the UK already got it. But the United States still doesn't have a release date yet. Hoping, I know some people may not like this, but I'm really hoping that they release both of them this month so they can be up to date. Because right now, we are a month behind the United States. I thought they will release it probably this past Saturday so they can be up to date, but they didn't. So let's just hope that we get a release date for Pinocchio within the next week or two. And to my collectors out there, do you think Disney did an amazing job with this design? For this particular plush or you think they should have went with something else i know when it comes to stuff like this our taste is totally different sometimes and that's fine that's why i want you want you all to put it down below in the comment section and hoping i'm hope i'm hoping that very soon they release the themes for the next six months they don't have to show us how it looks but just give us the theme i think i'll be satisfied with that most of y'all may know this already and some of y'all may not know, but there are fake Stitch Crashes Disney for the month of January pins out there. So here I'm going to break it down to you all for those of y'all who are still looking, looking and want to know whether you're purchasing on Facebook or, or any other site that sells merchandise. So here is the breakdown. Now I know someone used the ears on Stitch. I think someone mentioned that part, but that's not what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the right arm. So when you look to the left, you see that's the real picture, right? You see how everything designed? Now, when you go to the right, that's the fake pin. Now, the fake pin, you can tell by the fingertips. You see stitch claws. They aren't, on the real one, they're fully black. But on the fake one, you see it has the purple and the, the tip of it might be black or purple. So, that's a detection. Also, when you see the rose on the left, you see how the rose is nice and full. And on the right, look like somebody came by and stepped on his hand and smashed the rose. So, that's an indicator that that pin is fake. And you can tell the real on the left. Coming soon to Crocs.com, we have the three different styles of the Cruella de Vil Crocs. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Sweet Wheels didn't know how popular Crocs were until I went for the Cars one on their website. And I was in the waiting room. Didn't go. Basically, Sweet Wheels didn't get it. So I just wanted to inform you all for those Cruella de Vil fans out there. And also folks who love Crocs that these will be available very soon. Once I get that date, I'm definitely going to let you all know. Just make sure you be on your hands and toes when it comes to this stuff because it could just sell out. Also, D23 Gold members must can pre-order right now the Coella cassette tape and patch set. This here was available on May 28th. I totally did not know until I went to D23 and checked it out. But it is still available for pre-order and you have to be a D23 Gold member, okay? So if you're interested in that, you might want to reach out to someone that has a Gold membership or make a post on social media to see if someone can help you out with it. And you see the price up there is $15.98. It's a limited edition. I'm not too sure about the amount. The reason why I'm saying reach out to someone if you don't have it, but if you have a membership, you're good to go. Also, we have available, it's actually on back order on, on lego.com. It should be available in majority of the Lego stores. From Spider-Man, we have the Daily Bugle. This is something that Sweet Wheels is interested in getting. More than likely, I'm going to get this by the end of this year. There's something else I need to get. I need to get the police station and the bookstore as well. These three here are on my list to get. And I really, really like it. For my Friends fans out there, you can get this mug when you purchase the Friends Lego Ideas on lego.com. Also, if you never became a VIP member, if you sign up for a VIP member today, you will get this free keychain. So you might want to look into that. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Come on, I look at here, huh? I look at here. Say what? Look at here, look at here, look at here. Y'all better come through Loungefly with the June 2021 Loungefly Limited Edition release calendar for these pins. Y'all better stop playing. So each of these pins, they have a particular date that they will be released. 
we got for June 1st, the Star Wars one. So by the time I upload this video and you all see it, this pin will be available on loungefly.com. Yes, these are all loungefly.com release limited edition pins. The price for each pin is $25. It's one per household. It's one per person or per household, and you have to pay shipping and tax. Now, your shipping is free if you spend over $100. But if you just want one of these, you will pay shipping and tax. Now, out of all these pins, the main one I'm going for is Cinderella. I think I might need to get another Cinderella pin backpack. That will make three. And Steamboat Willie. But you all comment down below and tell me which pins out of this list here you will be interested in. Also, I forgot to mention, on each of these dates, these pins will be available on loungefly.com at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So lock and load that in if you're interested in any of these pins, the time and the date. Tomorrow, which will be June 2nd on Shop Disney website, they will be releasing to the left the Disney Pixar Cars Wishables and to the right. And I can't I can't remember the name, but you all see the character, so you know what time of day it is. And these pictures here I did get from Disney Fashionista website. Now I do not have the exact time, so the times can be one or two times. It could be 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So good luck to each and every one of you all. Available on June 4th and on ShopDisney.com, they will have this new Marvel Legends series action figures. I'm not too sure if it's more than these two, but these are the two that they're showing. I'm hoping that it is more. And also, celebrating their 15th anniversary of Disney Pixar cars with a collectible key and key pin that will be available on June 7th on Shop Disney. More than likely, it should be in the stores. Oh man, listen, I, most of y'all who know me, you know, the first thing I ever collected, which was in January, 2014 was Disney Pixar cards. And I still collect it to this day. I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna get a few of these. I don't know. I got to check my budget, make sure my money right. <laughs> and if you're wondering, Sweet Wheels, are you still collecting cards? Yes, Sweet Wheels still do. And I can tell you right now, it is hard. It, I mean, it's harder than... It's harder than getting these lounge fly backpacks, these exclusive lounge fly backpacks on release. We're talking about some one or two minutes sell out. No, Disney cars hunting in the stores is so hard. It is not as easy as walking in and getting it. No, it's a lot of people who collect this stuff. I mean, you probably got Hot Wheel folks over there. Just like Disney cars people, they collect Hot Wheels. So it's just, it's a lot. So I'm really hoping that this weekend I get lucky and score these new NASCAR ones that came out. Yeah, you're just going to have to see. Also got some great news for the UK. We have a date for them as well. So on the, for the UK, they will be able to get this key for free if they make a purchase of $25. I think that's what it is. And that will be available on June 11. Now, my friend who helps me out in the UK, he's a cars collector. So I do help him out with cars here in the United States because they don't get these cars in the UK. So I couldn't, like he was the first person I showed this to. I knew he would be excited, and yes, he will be going for this key for himself, and I'm really, really happy that they finally released a key that he likes, you know, and I do appreciate him helping me out, out when it comes to stuff in the UK as well. So my cause people out there, most of them know this, we need to get ready. That's just all I'm On saying. On June 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, listen, you all, if you're interested in any of this merchandise, please lock in these dates and these times in your phone. I do not want any of my sweet willers to miss out on these collectible items. So on shopharvest.com, which is this Friday, they will have these items available for purchase. They look amazing, but sweet wills will not be going for any of these items. But if you all are interested in any of these items, comment down below and tell me which one, which one of these bags you'll be going after. And I see in the middle they have for the collector series this tote here, which is really, really cute. I have the barrel. I have like that candy barrel from the collector series. That's the only one I do have at the moment. But these bags are nice. Just let me know what you're getting. Also coming soon, we have some Halloween bags. And I think they have some better pictures out there. But these are the pictures I have. I do apologize. We have at the top the Ghost Mini. Now, I don't know if it glow in the dark, but I do hope it does. And I'm probably going to go after that one. I didn't go after the Mickey one. Below, we have the Pumpkin one. And I know my girl Gina, she's really, really interested in this one. I know a few Sweet Willows that's interested in that one. And the one to the right, which is up on the Coming Soon, that one is the one I want. Okay? That one looks great. It does remind me of the Ariel. It has that Ariel crossbody look. Not the newer, smaller one, but the older one. That's what it looks like. But yeah, that's the number one bag I want from that series. I'm not too sure when and where it's going to be released at. But once I get that information, you know I'm going to let you all know. 
this past week, Funko Ween was in town, okay? Funko was releasing all different types of Halloween theme releases. Now, I haven't posted everything that was released. And if you're all interested in seeing majority on Facebook, you can go to these different um, Funko Facebook groups. And I'm sure they're on Instagram as well. And you will be able to see all the pictures. I'll even go to Funko.com or even the app. But I'm just going to show you all a few. Now, the one to the left, that's the... If, but the one to the left, for those who do not know, that's actually the band group in Scooby-Doo. And to the right, we already know who that is. Something I'm interested in getting. And I'm really happy to see the villains in full effect. Now, some of these were available for pre-order. Like the three band members, they were on Hot Topic, but they sold out. But you all do not freak out when this stuff sell out. Unless it's the Funko Shop one, which is at the right, at the top. The Coella DeVille one. Now, that dab, it sells out. That's it. But for the other it one, it might be available for pre-order. So if they do sell out, do not freak out. They'll come back in stock or they'll show up at the store. You don't have to worry about panicking just yet. But I really like the Funko sodas. I might go after the Sully or even the Mickey. We have some backpacks now. One to the left is the Funko one. And the one to the right looks like a lounge fly one. I think so. Y'all comment down below and let me know. And I think that's the villains one too, which is something I'm really, really excited about. Not too sure where any of these going to be released, released at, but once I do, I'll let you all know. Now, this train with the Nightmare Before Christmas is available. Like I said, some of this stuff was available or still is available on multiple shops. I know the mayor with the chase to the right. I missed out on that. Oh, my goodness. If I, I just want one mare chase, can I just get one mare chase? That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. You can't even get the regular mare. I'm talking about how hard it is to get. I had to make sure I added this one because I almost forgot. I will be getting a high topic stitch with the pumpkin. And also to the right, we have the lounge fly bag. Oh, that is so cute. That is really, really cute. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see that in person. Yeah, or some live photos of it. Whichever one comes first, it really doesn't matter. But I'm really loving all of the different Funkos. You collectors, let me know which one is your favorite. Wanted to clear this up because I know some collectors were quite confused thinking that the new version is the same as Box Lunch. But here are some pictures to show you all that it's not. So the first picture, which you have, first picture and it says on the top Box Lunch. This is how the Box Lunch one looks. And that one does glow in the dark. The middle... The second and third picture is the, is the newer version. Now, there is a difference between the second and third picture. The one in the middle, you see at the top, it says glow in the dark. That's an Amazon exclusive, which is available for pre-order. Now, it may be available now or not. But if you all are interested in that, please keep checking Amazon to see if it comes back in stock. But that price is $34 plus tax. I paid like $37 for the pre-order. And the one... The last one is the regular version. That one, one does not glow in the dark and it should be available on mul multiple sites for pre-order. Now, the crazy thing about that one, on Hot Topic, it was like $49 and then on Box Lunch, it was $39. So it was quite weird. So I'm hoping you all understand that those two, the newer one and the Box Lunch one are different. Check this out. Oh, listen here. Sweet Wheels hit two for five out of that mystery. Remember the mystery swirling video I did? So I hit two for five. See, we have the first one, which is actually Iron Man. And it did show up online. Now, that Joker came out of nowhere when it popped up. That Joker came out of nowhere. I had no clue, no time, no date, or nothing. But it did sell out. I'm not too sure if it's going to come back online. If you all are asking whether this release at, it's released at, at geekcoreuk.com. So you all can go ahead and check this out. And if you think it's a joke, you can type in Iron Man and you will see it. It's probably on page two and it's going to say sold out. And the same thing for Maleficent. Geek Corps revealed this and, you know, I already guessed the mystery. And it's the Maleficent one and it is official and it should be coming very soon. If you want to verify that, go to geekcoreuk.com and just type in Loungefly Maleficent and you will see this bag and it will be saying sold out. But it's not sold out because it wasn't released yet, but it will be coming very soon. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing the other three that I talked about and the mystery one, which will be six. We just going to have to see, but I'm really, really happy for collectors out there in the UK because you all finally getting a chance to get some of these bags that we have already received yet. And for my folks in the United States who weren't collecting or missed out on it, if you're interested in that Maleficent bag or any other bag that they may be releasing, you might want to start getting your UK connects together. That's all I'm saying. Collection Lounge will be releasing a vaulted re-release. They did release already the Chibi Lion King one, and that one did sell out. And they have a clue for the newer one. Now, some folks are saying Inside Out. 
I'm not too, too for sure when it comes to this one here. You all comment down below and tell me what you think. And they also have three more Vaulted re-releases that should be coming very soon. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this one is. I'm hoping that they reveal it very soon. How y'all doing with all these re-releases? I mean, the Stitch Lounge Fly Fact Rain plan. I mean, whoo, boy, when I say we got some re-releases, we got some re-releases. I think I got, what, nine or ten pending right now? I'm just waiting on the bill. Also, most of y'all already know about the the July pre-orders. They were available, available last night at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to put a link in the description below for the line jumper just in case you all may have went somewhere else and you're looking for a bag and it's sold out. They still have majority of the bags still available for purchase. So I'll definitely put in my affiliated link in the description below. So if you see anything that you want, you can go ahead and make a purchase with them. Bag of the week is going to my Disney Lounge Fly Hot Topic Princess Dress Bag. And I think I did really good on the placement. You know my two favorite princesses, Cinderella and Tiana. So I think when it comes to both, I did really well, really good with Tiana. You can see Tiana just all over the place, which is really amazing. I'm not going to complain not one bit. How many of y'all got this bag? Now, I know they have the Villains one and Lady Tremaine is on it. And I'm thinking I might get it because it's not every day you see Lady Tremaine on any bags i'm just saying that's what i was saying about cinderella bags we need more of other characters besides the mice and i'm not hating on gus gus and jack jack i just want to see more but this will be bag of the week this particular bag you all comment down below and tell me if you got this bag as well all right everyone so that'll do it for disney collecting news this week i'm hoping you all truly enjoyed it now when it comes to july pre-orders I will be doing that video tomorrow, okay? Just wanted to let everybody know. But that'll be it for this video. And like always, if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Also, when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click on all so you can be notified whenever I drop a video or a community post. And until next time, everyone, take care.